What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a video to your Unbounce landing page and then how to customize it depending on how you want it to look. The only way to add a video to Unbounce as opposed to say ClickFunnels is by embedding it. And that's what we're going to do right now. So here we are on our Unbounce landing page, which we have created a while ago. Check out the link and my playlist if you want to see how to do that. But as you can see, I created some extra space so we could add the video. And we're going to be using this YouTube video as an example here. And I will also get uh, to this tab in a bit as well. But like I said, the only way to add a video is to embed it. So the first thing we have to do is on the left hand side, select embed video and drag it over here. Now we need a code. So let's suppose there is a YouTube video you like. It does not have to be yours that you want to use on your landing page. Our goal here is to find an embed link somewhere here. Where is it on YouTube? Well, on YouTube, it's over here. If you click share and you click on embed, here's the link, okay? Now, there are a few options here. You can make a video start at a certain time. You can show controls or hide them. I'm not going to go into too much detail in with, with this right now, uh, but this is pretty straightforward. So let's just grab this code. I'm going to control C, copy, paste, or copy it. And then I'm going to control V, paste it. So we've pasted our code here. Let's click save and let's just see what that's going to look like, okay? So just for starters, let's see if I can center it. Here, I can just click here to center it. Let's click save and then let's click preview to see what it's going to look like before we go into other customization options. So there you go, there's the video. We click play. You might not hear any sound because I have a mic plugged in so I can talk. Uh, but so, yeah. that's it, that's the video, okay? So we've got that. So let's go back to edit and see how we can increase, um, how we can make it look nicer maybe, or add some additional features. So obviously the first thing you can do is you can hide controls, you can make the video start at a certain time. These are options that, that YouTube gives you, but you don't need YouTube to be able to select these. So for example, if I click on show player controls, observe what happens. So controls equals zero, right? And then if I click show controls, it, 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 that whole thing controls equals zero it disappears. Okay. If you wanted to start at a certain time, say start at one second, it, sh it, it says here, start one. So you can use this as a, um, as a point of reference to see how else you could increase the video. Now you may be thinking, well, I don't have a YouTube video. I have a video elsewhere. Follow the same formula. Find the embed link. That's all you're looking for. Every video will have some embed link. Find it and paste it here, okay? For example, here I have Wistia. I have my amazing uh, keto diet um, video that I created a while ago. So here's an embed link here. You can click embed. You can copy that link, right? Embed code and then paste it here. So double click that video again, paste it here, click save code and then you see my video there, bam, right? It's embedded from Wistia. But let's go back to this to this example here, to this YouTube example, so we can play around with it a little, a little bit more. <clears throat> Oops, I didn't click save. <clears throat> okay. Now, how else can we improve and make this video look nicer? So as opposed to ClickFunnels, one thing I like with Unbalance is that you can um, change the size of this video very easily. You don't have to go in and change the embed code um, to change the size of the video, very quick to do. But what if you want to autoplay your video? <clears throat> How do you do that? Well, you can click on the video, go to where it says uh, start equals one. Well, actually, let's let's remove the start equals one to make things easier. Let me just show you what that's going to look like. Um, so as you can see now, you know, the start equals one disappeared. But at the very end of that URL, what you want to do is type question mark autoplay equals one. Now, if there already was something there, like there it said, you know, start equals one, then you want to put an ampersand, ampersand autoplay. So if we make this, you know, start equals 30 seconds, the video should autoplay at 30 seconds. But let's see what happens when we do that. Dramatic results are so there, it starts at 30 seconds. And as you can see on, on this edit page, it does start at 30 seconds. But when you click save and you click preview, It starts at 30 seconds, but it doesn't autoplay. Why is that? Is there an error? 
No. So actually, Google is becoming more strict. And because we're using Google Chrome, they do not allow videos to autoplay. So autoplay is pretty much useless on Chrome, I believe Firefox, and I think other browsers are also adopting this policy. It's becoming more and more strict along the way, okay? But that's basically what you would do. You would just add all these different commands. Autoplay, controls, one, um, start equals, right? And stuff like that. So let's maybe remove the start and autoplay so it doesn't uh, distract us. And we can just remove all this too because we don't need that. I'm going to click save and that should just show us the regular video. Now, in ClickFunnels, you're able to add a border around your video. How do you do that? If you want to make a nice looking border, you can't really do that here. You do have an option to add a border, right? Um, <clears throat> I don't think that's anywhere here. Uh, here, frame border equals one, but it's not a big enough border. So what you would do, what I would suggest you do is add a box, okay? So quite simple, same thing we did before with text. Let's suppose I want a white background. I would just create a box like this. And then what I would do is drag this onto here. So I would drag that in the middle. I could center it now. So now this video is part of that box. And then here you go. This is my border. Now I can change this, right? So there is a border around the border. I can remove that. So now you see it's just white. I can change the color. Uh, the color would be here. So let's say, you know, light red or something. So you can do that, okay? And now I can also move this video and the border, okay? But you have to select the border. You, if, if, if you select the video, it's gonna just move the video. You don't wanna do that, okay? So that's how you would do that. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, so you can play around with this. And if you make it smaller, you would have to recenter this. But that's basically it. Um, change the colors, you know, you can uh, make the corner radius a little bit um, more circular if you want. So here it's a bit more circular. And now if we click save, well, actually, let's just center this whole thing first and just to see what that looks like. Save and preview and we'll see what the video will look like. And it ends up being a pretty good looking um, video space, I guess. And there you go. Okay. Uh, nice red matches with all that stuff like that but now you should know how to add a video and pretty much everything there is to know about um, adding videos to Unbounce. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video definitely check out my Unbounce playlist which has everything you have to know about creating Unbounce pages um, and my playlist on Google Ads so you can see how to drive traffic to your landing page. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.